Once more today, all thanks and praise we give to the name of the Lord. You are welcome, beloved, to the 30th day of our 50 days of prayers and fasting. And my prayer is that God will continue to renew your strength. You will finish healthier and stronger, more blessed and prosperous in the name of Jesus. Amen. We want to welcome all those who have subscribed to this platform to be a part of this community. Welcome and God bless you for joining us here in Jesus' name. Please give a like to this video so that others can get to view and pray and also share with friends and family. If this is your first time here, you are welcome. Please subscribe to this channel and be a part of this community. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. The focus of our prayer today is praying concerning our foundation. Psalm chapter 11 verse 3 is our text. It says, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? And one of the things the righteous can do is to pray, is to call on God, the author and the finisher of our faith. The one who has been before the beginning, who was in your foundation, who knows everything about your life. And we're also going to look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. It says, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Every contrary foundation that may be working against you, against me, against our families, against our ministries, against our businesses, they will be replaced by the foundation of Jesus. We are going to ask that Jesus will lay a new foundation for us, contrary to any negative foundation that had been laid. As we pray today, God will hear our prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The introduction says, how far a man will go in life depends on his foundation. Abraham was from a family of unbelievers, that is, idol worshippers. But God called him out according to Genesis chapter 12, verse 1, to walk before him, according to Genesis 17, 1. The sure foundation of our lives is Jesus Christ. When God called out Abraham from his idol-worshipping family background, he called him out to lay a new foundation for him, a foundation of covenant, covenant of life, of prosperity, of blessings, a foundation of greatness, God called Abraham out and laid that foundation for him. As the word of the Lord proceeds from this platform right now, as we pray, Jesus will reach out to you, reach out to your foundation. That anything that is contrary there, anything that is resisting the fulfillment of his agenda, of his purposes and plans in your life and in your family shall be uprooted in the name of Jesus. The same way God has set a new foundation for Abraham by calling him out, you also will have that encounter in the place of prayer today, this moment, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's proceed and give thanks to our sure foundation, the Lord Jesus Christ himself, by singing this song to worship and to praise him. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. Oh, He's always just the same. Oh, praise His holy name. Hallelujah. That is the reason why I love Him so. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. That wonderful name. Hallelujah. Jesus that wonderful name that wonderful name jesus hallelujah that wonderful name jesus there is no other name i know you will say father i thank you for the family through which you brought me into this world in the name of jesus father lord i thank you thank you for the family of my brother and my sister through whom they came into this world lord we thank you we are grateful because your word even says that through you all the families of the earth are named lord we thank you because you are mindful of the families that we came from 
through which we came into this world that is your designed path for us to come into this world you did not choose yours i did not choose mine it was god's decision to cause you to come into the world through your family so give thanks to him for it it's a blessing the bible says in psalm chapter 103 verse 1 bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name bless the lord oh my soul and forget not all his benefits who forgiveth all thine iniquities who healeth all thy diseases who redeemed your life from destruction give thanks to him that you are alive today because god caused you to be burned to come into the world through the family that you came through appreciate the lord and glorify him not all those who came to one family or the other are still alive today but the gift of life today is worth thanking god for lord we thank you for the vessel for the channel through which we came into the world for my brother and my sister thank you lord for sparing their lives and for bringing them thus far on the face of the earth in jesus name we pray amen you say father i repent of every generational sin committed by my ancestors let the blood of jesus wash us clean in the name of jesus the blood of jesus will wash you purge you cleanse you cleanse me clean and sanctified in the name of jesus lord we come with a heart of repentance scripture says if we say we are without sin we are liars and the truth is not in us but if any man comes to God and confesses and forsakes his sin, he will obtain mercy. Lord, we come boldly right now. Say, Lord, I come boldly to your throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace for my help in time of need. Somebody needs help with his or her foundation. A new foundation is being laid for you as you ask God for his mercy concerning your family your generation your genealogy your background anything that is contrary to the plans and purposes of god any seed any plan that the enemy has sown in your foundation why because of an alliance with him by your ancestors because of practices that are contrary to the word of god to the ways of god let the mercy of god show up for you every of such practices we overturn them we stop them from taking effect again in your life every generational curse is cancelled by the blood of jesus by the new covenant we have in the blood of jesus in jesus name we pray amen you will say father please show me your mercy and touch the foundation of my life with your hand of power in the name of jesus somebody receive mercy receive mercy he says in romans chapter 9 verse 15 for the lord said to moses i will have mercy on whom i will have mercy and i will have compassion on whom i will have compassion so then it is not of him that willeth not of him that runneth but of god that showeth mercy you will receive the mercy of god the mercy that will cause the lord to visit your foundation receive that mercy many people have been laboring struggling toiling and working with nothing little or nothing to show for it because something is wrong with their foundation their foundation had been faulty they keep struggling in life in the name that is above every other name by the mercy of god that mercy will command ease and comfort into your life that anything in your foundation that is causing you struggle and pain by the mercy of god they shall be removed receive the mercy of god let the eyes of god shine upon you his good eyes his countenance shine upon you and your foundation in the name of jesus by the powerful hand of god the mercy of god will speak for you you will no longer labor in vain under stress under judgment under problems god by his mercy will deliver you and set you free from every faulty foundation lord thank you in jesus name we pray amen you will say father please visit my family with your mercy 
in the name of Jesus. Beloved, it is of the Lord's message that you have not been consumed because his compassion never fails. He says, great is thy faithfulness. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, always new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Say, Father, show my family mercy and visit the foundation of my family. In the name of Jesus, by the mercy of God, destruction, calamity, tragedy will be far from you, will never come near any member of your family. The mercy of God exempts you from judgment, exempts you from destruction, exempts you from untimely death in the name of Jesus, exempts you from sudden death in the name of Jesus. Every evil arrow, every evil strikings of the enemies, none will touch you, none will hit you. The presence of the Lord will overshadow you, preserving you, protecting you in your going out, in your coming in for you and your family members. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, please break the stronghold of sin in my family lineage in the name of Jesus. The stronghold of sin. Many people are susceptible to sin today, even as believers, because they are still under the grip of the flesh. Because they still walk in the flesh and not in the spirit. Every stronghold of sin that is taking advantage of your flesh to work against you, to keep you in captivity, to draw you back, to slow you down, to put burden on you. We command that that stronghold be broken in the name of Jesus over your life, over my life. In the name that is above every other name, every stronghold of sin, every stronghold of carnality, every stronghold of worldliness that is causing you to be put in bondage of what is happening in this world the lord will deliver you from it receive freedom receive liberation in the name of jesus from today to please the lord to love the lord to obey the lord becomes your delight becomes your longing your desire in the name of jesus so shall it be sin shall not have dominion over you because you are not under the law but under the grace of the lord jesus christ in jesus name we pray amen you will say father every curse upon my life as a result of my family background let it break now in the name of jesus in the name that is above every other name you have a covenant of blessings in christ jesus the bible says because christ was hung on the tree it says the blessings of abraham had been released upon us the gentiles yes the blessing of abraham is upon you you are under generational blessings not generational causes from now on you begin to manifest blessings manifest prosperity manifest increase in the name of jesus causes have nothing to do with your life have nothing to do with your family have nothing to do with your children from today it is the blessings of god the blessings of god from heaven that does not bring sorrow into a man's life that you begin to enjoy the blessings that brings joy that brings fulfillment that brings peace begin to enjoy it because you are blessed indeed causes will not have dominion over you anyone that wants to cause it the bible says he will cause them god will cause them on your behalf everyone that blesses you because of you they will be blessed so shall it be in jesus name we pray amen you will say father every tree of non-achievement in my family background let it be uprooted by fire of the holy ghost in the name of jesus by the fire of the holy ghost every force of non-achievement struggling walking like an elephant and eating like an ant having nothing to show that season is over in your life forever is over in your family forever in the name of the lord jesus everything you taught god will prosper it by the mercy of god every seed every plant that the enemy has sown scripture says in matthew chapter 13 verse 25 but while a man slept his enemy came and sowed tears among the wheat and went his way every tear sown every weed occupying space in your life 
in your enterprise, in your business that is preventing productivity, that is preventing increase. We uproot them, we undo every work of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, in your life, in your ministry, in your family. In the name of Jesus, little labor, great favor will come upon the work of your hands. God will prosper all that you do by his mercy. You become a great receiver and a great achiever for the kingdom of God in your field, in your sphere of influence, in your enterprise, in your business. Mightily, you will succeed much more than ever before. In this season of 50 days of fasting and prayer, you will experience the miraculous wonders of God in all that you do. You will excel and exceed 10 times better than you were before now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every foundational serpent that is operating against the glory of my family, break in the name of Jesus. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 27 from verse 1, it says, In that day the Lord will, with his sore and great and strong sword, shall punish Leviathan and the piercing serpent. Even Leviathan than that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that day, sing ye unto her a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it with every moment, lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. The presence of the Lord is upon you, is over you, watching over you, that every demonic spirit manifesting through any creature, serpent, any creature, known or unknown, that wants to afflict, to attack you or your family, we cut them in pieces by the sword of the Spirit, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, we set them ablaze. No force from the pit of hell, no force from the pit of darkness will be able to overcome you, will be able to destroy your family. The Lord God Almighty is fighting for you, is defending you against every force of demonic powers. In the name of Jesus, enter into divine liberty. By the Spirit of God, you are set free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, every evil pattern of my father's household that is about to manifest in my life, I break them in the name of Jesus. Every evil pattern of my father's household be broken in the name of Jesus. No more evil pattern manifesting in your life. No more evil pattern manifesting in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. John chapter 4 verse 18 says, For thou hast had five husbands, and he whom thou hast now is not thy husband. And in that said thou truly, that indeed this woman had had a pattern of divorce in her lineage, in her history. But when she encountered Jesus, that pattern stopped. That pattern stopped. Any evil pattern of divorce, any evil pattern of late marriage, any evil pattern of barrenness that may be bedeviling, that may be afflicting your marriage, your home, your family, they come to an end. And now, by the power of God, upon this word, upon this prayer, they come to an end. Now, evil pattern will stop. Good pattern of fruitfulness, good pattern of progress, good pattern of ad advancement, of increase, becomes your reality reality becomes your portion from now going forward in jesus name we pray amen you will say father every idol claiming ownership over the foundation of my life be destroyed in the name of jesus you are issuing a command right away the bible says where the word of the king is there is power you have power and authority in your mouth you will say father in the name of jesus every evil idol every idol claiming authority claiming ownership over the foundation of my life be destroyed now in the name of jesus lift your voice and say i decree in the name of jesus every idol every familiar spirit 
wanting to claim ownership over my life, my foundation, over my blessings, over my fulfillment, over my prosperity. Command, lose your hold. Lose your hold. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. They will hear your voice and will fade out of their hidden places. Every stranger and every strange God, they will bow before you as you issue that command. Now, let them be destroyed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, in the name of Jesus, every foundation of my family, visit the foundation of my family. Let our glory begin to shine forth in the name of Jesus. The Lord is visiting the foundation of your family. The glory of your family is shining forth. In the name of Jesus, everything in your foundation that is contrary to glory, everything in your home that is contrary to glory, the Lord is pulling them out right now. That the beauty, the color, the honor that is in your foundation is manifesting forth. In the name of the Lord Jesus, according to the word of the Lord, a new foundation is being laid for you and your family. A new foundation of glory for you to begin to shine is being laid for you and your family. As David caused his family, his father's house to shine in his day, so will you be elevated that your glory will break forth and nothing will stop it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You say, Father, visit the foundation of our parishes in the RC. CG worldwide in the name of Jesus. Lord, visit the foundation of your church. Your word says in Matthew 16 18, I will build my church and the gate of hell will not prevail against her. Lord, we pray that the gate of hell will not prevail against your church. Your church will keep waxing stronger and stronger. Your local assembly, your parish where you serve God, where you lead God's people, we keep waxing stronger and stronger. In the name that is above every other name, the foundation of our parishes will be visited as God begins miracles, begins revival, begins something new that has never happened for good in all our parishes all over the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Father, visit the foundations of our nations and let your glory begin to manifest in the name of Jesus. We use this moment to intercede for Nigeria. And by extension, other nations of the world, Lord, obviously the foundation of this nation is faulty. It's built on false wood. Lord, we cry unto you and we ask for your intervention in restructuring the foundation of this nation. Oh, Paima Lukete, in the name of Jesus, the foundation of Nigeria is being visited. Lord, particularly in this month of the elections, Lord, let your mercy prevail that our foundation may be rebuilt. Foundation may be rebuilt to become foundation of love, of justice, of progress, of oneness, of unity, of prosperity. Lord, we ask for a rebuilt foundation for Nigeria and other nations of the world. In the name of Jesus, God you will intervene. You will put the enemies to shame. Lord, those who are taking advantage of the faulty foundation, they will be disgraced, they will be put to shame, they will be ridiculed that your own will of a new foundation will be done for Nigeria. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You will say, Lord Jesus, be the foundation of my life from henceforth. In the name of Jesus, going forward, the Lord will be the foundation of your life, the foundation of your family, the foundation of your ministry, the foundation of your business. In the name of Jesus, solid foundation can never be pulled down in the midst of storm. Keep standing strong. Keep standing tall. Keep advancing. In the name of Jesus, your foundation is laid on Jesus Christ, the solid rock from now in all areas of your life, your marriage, your ministry. That foundation will never be pulled down can never be pulled down and you continue to enjoy the blessings of god in jesus name we pray amen give praise and thanks to god for answers to your prayers because you know that the blood of jesus is speaking for you the power of the holy ghost is speaking for you a new foundation is being laid for you in the name of jesus everything you have lost will be recovered will be restored unto you the new height and new level that god has prepared you for and prepared for you he will take you there because you have a new foundation to stand on to spring from from now on in the name of jesus so shall it be in jesus mighty name we pray 
Amen. Thank you. Thank you for joining us to pray these prayers again today. Stay strong and stay healthy. God bless you and God keep you. Share the video with friends and family. See you again tomorrow if Jesus starts. Bye for now.